Hi, I'm Alex from Speedify. Do you have a Mac and an iPhone? Do you ever wonder how you can get better internet to that Mac? I mean, it only has one Wi-Fi card, so there's no way to connect it to two networks at the same time, right? Turns out there is with Speedify. So let me show you. So here's Speedify running on this iPhone. I'll just assume you have Speedify installed. If you don't, go to speedify.com, click downloads. There are links to the app store, links to download it for different operating systems. Get it on all your devices, both your Mac and your iPhone. So here I've got that iPhone projecting to the Mac. That's what this is over here. The iPhone looking thing is actually Speedify running on that iPhone. And here's Speedify running on the Mac. So you see, Exact same user interface on both. Speedify is a VPN, so it's actually protecting all my traffic. And I enabled pair and share. In the intro, it asked, do you want to turn on pair and share? And of course, I said yes. So to get started, uh, we click on start by pairing a device. And what it does, it looks around on the same local network, usually Wi-Fi, for devices. And it sees the iPhone. Click tap to pair. And it, says, it confirms, do I want to pair? And it explains the details, right? that the data sent back and forth between the, the phone and your Mac is totally encrypted. You're safe. Only the VPN server can read it. Not even, not even your phone can read the data coming off your Mac. You can revoke permission at any time. It is all under your control. And you can set limits to make sure it doesn't share a huge amount of your data. So let's do it. Let's send the request to pair. And now over here on the iPhone, click accept it. Yes, I'd like to pair. We go back and now receiving from my phone. We go back to the dashboard and there it is. I now have three internet connections. The ethernet, it's plugged into the Comcast. The Wi-Fi, it's on the same network. And now I've got the cellular off this iPhone. You see the iPhone is sharing to the Mac mini. So I get an extra internet connection. So I can go ahead and, and take this iPhone, and as long as I'm on the same network, it works. I walk over to the coffee machine, and if the internet goes out here, this Mac will start using the iPhone in my pocket in order to get online. There are other ways to pair as well. It shows up on the dashboard. You can see here you click Manage, and uh, each device. And if you click there, there's a QR code. You can scan that from another device. And this isn't just, you know, Mac to iPhone, by the way. You can have an Android phone pair with your Mac. You can have two iPhones pair with each other. I mean, particularly if the two are on different carriers, this can be amazing. You get much more reliable beyond Verizon, at and at the same time. And that's all there is to using pair and share and getting a second internet connection on your Mac.